Hey everyone, Jamie here from TechnicalCafe.com. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about how to write a FizzBuzz program in Java. And what a FizzBuzz program is, is a short little program that prints the numbers 1 to 100 to the screen. And if a number is divisible by 3, instead of printing the number, the program will print the word Fizz. If a number is divisible by 5, instead of printing the number, the program should print the word Buzz. And if a number happens to be divisible by both 3 and 5, uh, the program should print the word FizzBuzz instead of printing the number itself. So in this Technical Cafe blog post from May 27th, we have actually some sample code with a bunch of comments so you can see what, what it does. Uh, we have some sample output, and we also have just some more information about it. So I recommend you check that out if you're interested. Um, but let's head over here to Eclipse where we have uh, some more FizzBuzz code here. And let's compile it and run it. And you'll notice that we have our results here. So we have 1, 2, since 3 is divisible by 3, we have the word Fizz. Uh, 4 isn't divisible by 3 or 5, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, 5 is divisible by 5, so we have buzz. 6 is divisible by um, uh, six, 6 is divisible by 3, so we have uh, fizz. If we come over here to 15, you'll notice that we have fizz buzz because 15 is divisible by both 3 and 5. And this just continues all the way up until we hit 100. We could keep going if we want to, but uh, just for the purpose of saving time and space, uh, we'll just stop at 100 here. So let's go ahead and clear out the code here, clear out the console, and we'll start writing our own fizz buzz code. All right, so we cleared out the code, we cleared out the console, so let's get started with writing our own FizzBuzz program. Um, so I left in this comment here, and as well as the class name and the main method, um, just so we can have something to work with. So uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is figure out how to print the numbers 1 to 100 to the screen. Since we know we're going to be printing um, basically 100 numbers to the screen, what we're going to do is just use a for loop, um, because we have a finite number of things that we know. And we'll just say for int i equals 1, because we're starting at 1 i is less than or equal to 100 and the reason we're using less than or equal to is because we want to stop at 100 we don't want to stop at 99 which is what would happen if we use just less than uh, and for each pass or iteration of the loop we'll just add 1 to i let's go ahead and now open up a code block and within this code block now we're going to start talking about the logic to print fizzbuzz and fizzbuzz and what may be surprising or a little weird is that we're going to actually work with the last um, requirement here uh, that if a number is divisible by both 3 and 5, we're going to print fizzbuzz. And the reason for that is because if we first checked if a number is divisible by 3 uh, or 5 by themselves, uh, and it happened to be divisible by both 3 and 5, we would just end up printing fizz or buzz because it would only be checking for divisibility by one of these numbers and not both. So in order to do that, let's go ahead and use a conditional statement. We're going to be using an if statement. And we're going to be using the modulo operator, which we haven't talked about before in these tutorials. And what the modulo operator is, uh, it's represented by a percent sign, and it basically just checks for a remainder after division by a number. Um, if there's no remainder, we know that the number goes in evenly, and it's divisible by that number. So uh, we'll say if i modulo 3 equals 0. Um, so if i divided by 3 is 0, we know that, uh, and it has a remainder of 0, rather, we know that it's, it's divisible by 3. And i modulo 5 equal equals 0. Then we're going to print the word fizzbuzz because i is divisible by both 3 and 5. Um, let's go ahead and create a code block here and we'll say system.out.println and we'll say fizzbuzz. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is check to see if i is divisible by um, 3. Uh, we could do 5, doesn't matter. I'm just going to kind of go in order from the top. So uh, else if i modulo 3 equals equals 0. So if i divided by 3 has no remainder, uh, we know that it goes in evenly and it is divisible by 3. Uh, we'll say system dot out dot print line fizz and then we're going to check for divisibility by 5. So else if i modulo 5 equals equals 0, we'll create a code block and just say system dot out dot print line and we'll say buzz, because if i is divisible by 5, we're going to print the word buzz. Uh, so if a number isn't divisible by 3 or 5, or a combination of 3 and 5, uh, we're just going to print the number itself and leave it alone. So we'll say else system.out.println, and we'll just print the number i. Um, so let's go ahead and compile this and run it and see what our results are. So compile, run, and you notice that we have the results of 1, 2, uh, instead of 3, we have fizz, which is good. 4, uh, 5 is divisible by 5, so we have buzz. 
6 is divisible by 3, so we have fizz. Uh, let's go up and check 15, which is divisible by both 3 and 5. And you'll notice that we have fizz buzz, which is good. Um, if we had just checked for, if we checked for 3 first, instead of printing fizz buzz, we would have actually checked, uh, we would have actually had fizz down here instead of fizz buzz, uh, which is why we kept that at top, and this is just an example of that. Um, and it just keeps going up all the way until we hit 100. I'm not going to go ahead and verify all of them, but uh, feel free to play around with this type of program. I've heard that, uh, I read online that sometimes these are gi these types of problems are given out during job interviews and whatnot in order to test, you know, programming competency and stuff like that. Um, so feel free to play around with it. Feel free to, you know, send me any ideas that you may have. Um, and if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, I'd love to hear them. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.